This is an adult channel. In this video, we're going to do a comparison review of the regular size Nebula class from Star Trek The Next Generation and the XL. Now, there are two different registry numbers. One is the Honshu, one is the Bonshun, uh, but they're the same ship. Um, so if we take a look at this one, um, I can see it's a little bit of glue right there where they put it together. Uh, feels like the bottom part is die cast and this insert right here is probably plastic. And as you can see, there is some very light uh, Aztec in. I, I love that, I love that. The Honshu. And of course we've got uh, translucent parts and then the cells. We can focus. You can see that very light Aztec thing. That's, that's beautiful. Okay, and let's take a look at the larger one. Whoa, there's some there's some weight to this. And the Aztec in on this isn't as light, but the, the color of it, of the ship, is lighter, more of a lighter blue, which this is a, a gray. I'm going to hold this the the XL farther away so you can compare them uh, side by side a little bit easier. Maybe looks like the detail is pretty close on the uh, the Aztec in on this nebula here on the Honshu is so light it's barely detectable from a distance, which it, it may be too light. <clears throat> and then of course. Uh, this Aztec and you can easily see. <clears throat> Whoa, what we got here? This pot on top is a little loose. It's going to come out? Oh, wow. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, this has some weight. Looking at the bottom of it. Pretty nice. That that deflector dish looks like it's translucent, but I, maybe not. Maybe not. It's really hard to tell well, without getting a flashlight or something. But uh, man, it looks pretty good. Looks really good, actually. <clears throat> I love that they did put Aztec in on this, but it's so light, you can't see it. Unless you uh, see a light, the light bouncing off of it, that's when you see it. Otherwise, you don't see it. But from this, with this one, you can see it uh, from a, a good distance. And it looks like this, it just didn't have much glue on it, which might upset some people. It doesn't upset me at all because <clears throat> I have played with the idea of soaking these in some very hot water and maybe popping them open and then drilling some holes for some lights. Um, I don't know. I don't know about that, but that doesn't bother me. I can just glue it back on. <clears throat> There it is, it's back on. So yeah, um, I think I like the XL better. And uh, 
I like I said I appreciate the Aztecing, the very light Aztecing, but you can only see it with about light bounces off of it. And it looks like the Aztecing is the same. Now, which one would I. Looks better in, you know, in the series. I don't know. I, I like the lighter colored one better. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> if uh, people think that these Eagle Moss models are perfect, they are not. They are not. You can look at some of the pictures uh, uh, of the actual filming models, and you can see pictures of you know in, in action in the in the TV series, and there are differences. Even if Eagle Moss says that they've got the actual, if they were CGI. If the Eagle Moss says they got the actual um, CGI models, the digital models, that doesn't mean that these were manufactured right. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? They got the CGI models and they made molds. And it doesn't necessarily mean that the molds were made 100% with the CGI models. So it's nice that they did. But uh, a person could buy another one of these take some <clears throat> uh, fingernail polish remover also known as acetone with a q-tip and remove this very lightly remove this and you could buy the decal for the Honshu and put on your extra one of these which would be cool uh, this uh, big one is about six inches long. And I'm not really sure the scale of that. I'd, I'll have to look it up. So the scale of the Honshu is 14400. 14400, it's pretty small. And the scale of the uh, Honshu is 12800. So it's slightly smaller than the 12500 Enterprise D model kit. This is the 12500 Enterprise D model kit. I did not build this. I found it at a yard sale. As you can see, it is slightly smaller. But as a display, it's so close that it would display good with your uh, with 12500 scale ships. It's really close. The smaller or the large Let's see, how do I put this? The smaller the scale, like when you get down to 14400 scale, right here, this is, uh, and then if you, uh, like, 14200 scale, 14400 scale, or 14600 scale, the, the, the size between each one is less perceptible. But the bigger ship you have, and if it's a different scale, the more you'll notice it. But this is not too bad, is it? So if you have the 12500 uh, model uh, uh, set, well, actually, they make the set for um, Star Trek. And uh, I'll, I'll show you the Enterprise C. And here's the Enterprise C 12500. And that's about right because the Enterprise D and the Enterprise C 12500 I'm zoomed out as you can see looks pretty good and this is the Hot Wheels Excelsior which is 20 on 2500 I uh, I checked I um, measured it so the uh, uh, model kit manufacturer polar lights I think it was or was it AMT they made a, a ship set which I have the the Enterprise B and it come it came with the, all the enterprises is all the enterprises in 20 12500 scale 
but I just happen to notice that this Hot Wheels Excelsior is exactly 12500 also and fits in nicely with them. So if you have that ship set, get the Hot Wheels Excelsior and it'll fit right in. The reason I bought this is because I was subscribed. I got this with my subscription. But I'll probably never get around to buying a garage kit or printing this. There's no, you know, there's no, there's so many designs out there to you could print and the time it would take and then all the painting. It it's just easier for me to buy it. So and I, I don't know, I probably will not buy another one and make the Han shoe. I just need one one nice sized nebula class. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, thank you for watching. We'll see you next video.